Hi everyone. Welcome back to E plus E. I am Erica. Thank you for joining me. It is Saturday, uh, March 9th, 2024. This is, I think this may possibly be, ugh, I hate to say it. I This may possibly be my first video of the year. I, I, <laughs> I don't know and I cannot keep up, right? Sorry for that, but thank you all for joining me again. Thank you all for sticking around, all 17 of my followers. Thank you all. Um, let's do a little dive into um, what's going on. I mean, we got a little movement from Netflix on different series, and we have a lot of movement from Hulu. Hulu has been like uh, the lifesaver over during these months, during... Um, the writer's strike and everything like that. It's been like a, a lifesaver, right? So let's go ahead and dive right into uh, those things. First of all, with Netflix, they did announce um, earlier this year that they will not, <laughs> they will not um, show uh, new episodes of Jenny and Georgia, which is one of our faves, or Wednesday. Like they're not slated to release their new se seasons until. Sometime in 2025, let's, fingers crossed that, you know, things change. One second, let me do a little bit just because uh, y'all can't see my whole left side. Okay. Um, that there, you know, things change. And that hopefully that we get something maybe October of this year. <laughs> Either way, um... Either way, uh, that's gonna that's a long way away. I mean, I can't imagine how much older all the characters are gonna look. I mean, because I, I already, um, the the high schoolers are are already adults in real life. They're really they're adults, and how much older are they gonna look in another year? You know, will they will they go to Jenny and Georgia when they're still in grade school? Like they're they're in high school now, right? I mean, two years are going to pass, and probably, technically, maybe even three, because between, like, the time that they, you know, record and the time that it's put onto the, you know, streaming service, uh, what is that? Six months? How much, how much time lapses between those two dates? So, it'll be interesting to see. We know that in real life, um, Georgia had a baby, so at least she's off for a full year to, like, be a mama and not worry about coming in and pumping and things like that. So that's kudos to her. That's very good. Um, you don't see that often, um, nowhere, whether it's, you know, Hollywood or, you know, you working at, you know, McDonald's. It doesn't happen for real. Not here in the United States anyway. I heard in Canada they have a year and one day off. To celebrate their new baby. So that's awesomeness. Same thing with Wednesday. All of those, um, for the most part, they're all adults playing these high schoolers. So I wanna see I wanna see what happens. I don't I, I don't really feel like Wednesday really nailed an age or um even a grade for everyone, but I wanna see the dynamics, like what how is this gonna play out? Like are we gonna still be in high school or are we gonna be in college? What's going on with that? So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting. To see. It'll be interesting to see if everyone sticks on. I mean, I know they're gonna have projects between time. Um, so I just want to see how things, how things go. You know, like as far as um, who's gonna stick around, who's gonna sign on. I know most recently, Antonia Gentry, who is who plays Jenny posted on her socials a picture of her and Marcus. I, I don't know his real name. Um, I don't think he even has socials, but on her Instagram page, she posted a photo of the two of them together at a, a, some kind of fashion awards show or just fashion show. So that was nice. Um, you know, Jenny and Marcus forever, right? <laughs> that was really nice to see, but I just, I mean, I want to see, the, I want to see how things unfold and the dynamics of everyone and everything. Um, I just got to see it. I got to see it. Who knows? Um, something else that I'm looking at. Oh, you know what I did indulge in? That's survival of the thickest. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a 
a tasty little show. It was just enough, you know, you know, uh, salaciousness for me. It was just enough for me, and I, it was really good. It was a really good series. I enjoyed the heck out of that series. Um, Michelle, I think it's Buteau is her last name. She's such a cutie pie. Um, I did not read the book. I had no idea. Let me tell y'all something. Since I've had my baby, I have been completely out of the loop of what book is what book and what ain't what book and what is transferred over to TV, what's transferred over to the stream service, what's a movie. I have no clue. I can't keep up. I don't keep up anymore. I don't bother you. I don't bother you. Nonetheless, uh, for Survival of the Thickest has been renewed for a season two. I think that happened last month in February. Um, and so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, there's a Jonathan Bell there. He's so cute. You know, I like, I like my man a little bit more, a little bit midier, but he is very easy on the eyes. He's very cute. Tasha Smith is in there. Or is it Aisha Tyler? I get the two of them mixed up so much, but I think it's Tasha Smith. She's in there. She's being her. She's doing her Tasha Smith thing. Um, she is a lesbian. <laughs> Uh, which is just fine with me. Suits the just fanger, cause you know she can she give them vibes any damn way in real life. So, but that ain't no shame, cause I just I really enjoy her. Um, who else was there? Oh, Gabrielle Bouveas, I think her name is. She's in a series, and she was really good doing what she does. Um, she's popped up a lot. During the actor's strike, the writer's strike, she's popped up a lot, um, you know, and I'm so thankful that she's just there, you know, she, cause she popped up in, um, on, on that Hulu series, the other black girl as well. So kudos to her, girl, you are really doing your thing and you're not depending on that real housewives of Beverly Hills money. I have never watched not a single episode of that, but I know. Garcelle is a part of that show, and I love her. Um, I just like her. I just like her. So, yes, she did. She really did a great, great job on both series. Um, she's playing a little bit. Like, she was really messed up in The Other Black Girl, but in um, Survival of the Thickest, she plays, like, a dark character, a comically dark, dark character. Kind of like the black version of Karen from Will and Grace. <laughs> so, that was really nice to see her in that role. Um, I, I just think she does really well in anything she does. She's such a gorgeous and classy lady. I enjoy her very, 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 very much. But yes, that is something that I did indulge in. Survival of the Thickest was the best. I did not have things together to actually like put stuff on YouTube about that one, but I did enjoy it quite a bit. And I guarantee before we, we before season two was released, we will go over it. Um surely but you know, slowly but surely we will. I promise. I promise. Um so we look at two fours of that. Hulu has been out in the ethers as well. Oh, so Yes, so I said that the Jenny and Georgia and Wednesday would not be slated to release until 2020, 2025. So that may mean they're already in the process of maybe, um, you know, doing some stuff, filming and things like that. Writing, I don't know. It's been, a, oh, you know what? I don't know if they've been writing because it's been a shakeup with the writers, directors, I don't know, producers. It's been a shakeup. So somebody's out and somebody else is in and so it may not be they may not even be filming right now i don't know um that's with jenny and georgia i haven't had any kind of updates on wednesday um i'm gonna be out there if you guys see something you know to me if you see something if you see something say something okay so yeah that's where i'm at with that um definitely if you hear or see anything on the socials whether it's from the cast Producers, Netflix themselves, whoever. That would add me, okay? Because, um, yeah, it's been rough, okay? Um, also, uh, moving on to Hulu. Hulu. Hulu, like I said, has been, like, 
the epicenter of everything. They have been like the savior of this writer strike for me because I've been able to find different shows that I had no clue about. Y'all ain't tell me about it. And I'm not happy with that. I mean, y'all, you know, like, let's let's come together on this, okay? Let's really come together on this, okay? Um, but um, one of the things I want to talk about is um, what I'm really watching on Hulu. For right now, I'm watching Life and Beth. Now, Life and Beth comes out, the whole season comes out. As it's released. Like, so all episodes. All eight episodes. So, I'm about I'm about halfway through the, seer, the season. I went back and watched season one. And we're on season two, episode four. For me, I'm on season two, episode four. But it is so good. It's so good. And the thing about it is, Amy Schumer is Beth. She plays Beth. And she, in the first or second episode, I think the end of the first episode, she loses her mom. Her, her sister. It's her and her sister. Her sister is a lesbian. Um, and they lose their mom. And they don't have the best sisterly relationship, but they are there for each other when it really, 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 really counts. Which is good. Um, and then she has this um, goofy little boyfriend at the beginning of the series. Um, well, he's not goofy. He's a little... Too self-aware. He's a little not really self-absorbed, but self-absorbed. Um, I think um, Beth really stayed with him, particularly because, or specifically because his mom, her mom, really really enjoyed him. So that was the like, that was really what the anchor was in their relationship. They didn't have a full relationship. Like she didn't love him as she once did, and she was just in it to please her mom, keep her mom off her back, and blah blah blah. You know. The whole scandal. So, after the mom died, of course, naturally, she broke up with him. And she was at... I mean, I think they worked in the same office, like, or the same company or something. It's like... Their company is not quite Keurig. It's like Keurig or something like that. And they do wines. Not coffees. Or other K-Cups. Um, so... Um... Yeah, they break up naturally because, like, you know, like I said, the mom was the reason for them to be together at that moment anyway. So, they break up. She decides she no longer wants to work at her job, and she goes to, well, at first it started off, she wanted to find other pers perspectives, uh, prospects for her job, and she goes to a farm that's out in, you know, outer skirts of New York, the country of New York, um... And she goes, she finds this farm and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm not here to judge about Life and Beth. I'm just saying, watch it. It is a really good series. I believe Amy Schumer did this right after her stint with Only Murders in the Building, which we're going to get to in just a moment because we got oh, lots of news and movement with Only Murders in the Building, right? So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the series also stars Michael Cera, who I absolutely adore. Um, I just found out about him at this series. I don't know anything about this man. I just, he, I do, I found out as I'm watching the series that he plays these, like, really weird, quirky kind of characters and things like that. He's a cutie pie. He's very easy on the eyes. They say he's a very private person when it comes to his personal life outside the spotlight. Follow me, bro. Follow me. Uh, and also he's been doing those CeraVe, CeraVe commercials, the lotion, you know, the lotion for like deep moisturizing skin and things like that. He been in them commercials. He's really capitalizing on the Cera of his last name and the Cera, of CeraVe, V, whatever it is. So I think that is very cute. And he is too, right? Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a very nice series to watch if you're interested in watching it. Um... Also, what I'm watching is Not Dead Yet on Hulu. I don't watch it on ABC only because usually it comes on a Wednesday. It comes on Wednesdays at like 8 on ABC. Um, I'm very much a, <laughs> getting ready for bed at that time. So, I usually watch it like Friday or Saturday or Sunday after the, so after, after you know. I mean, it comes on Hulu, I think, the same night. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it does. 
no biggie, but it's just not for me at that time. Sometimes I'll get up at like 1 o'clock in the morning and I watch it on a Wednesday. Uh, going to, Well, really Thursday because it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. But for the most part, I'll watch it on a Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Um, so I will be posting about that. They currently are on episode four, um, not epi season two, episode four, um, not dead yet. And it is really good. They actually added the guy. I believe he's from, I want, what was that? Not, was it Seinfeld or everybody hates or loves Raymond? Is it loves Raymond? I think it's everybody loves Raymond. Um, and he's from one of those. And then also, you know him also possibly from the Jimmy John commercial. Because he says, freaking Jimmy John's. He does that. So, uh, I think his name is Brad Garrett. One second. I'm, I'm going to 100% find out for sure. It is Brad Garrett. He's very, very handsome. He's only 63. He's very handsome to me. He is like, mmm. He's really like a juicy man. He's very, very nice looking and very tall. Um, um, so yeah, he's that, that's him. Um, he's really cute. Yeah, everybody loves Raymond. Cause I, and the only reason I know that, cause I've never watched a series, I've never watched an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond either. However, he was recently. Uh, well, I don't know about recently, but he was on an episode of Celebrity Family Feud, and I saw him, and he he was going against uh, Ray Raymond of Everybody Loves Raymond. I think it's, it's Ray Romano. I right, listen, y'all. Yeah, know me. It ain't a lot that I know. <laughs> okay, just, let's just say that now, and y'all know that already. Um, so he's playing Nails Bosses father yes and they have a really sickening sinister relationship it's very sickening i mean very sickening um and then also nail's boss is sleeping with nail's roommate and nail ain't found that shit out yet and i'm like girl because where you at what are you really doing so it's been a really good season already um, let's keep moving forward with that one. I, I really enjoy that. I enjoy, um, Gina Rodriguez. She's very cute. She's such a cute girl. I love her. Her heart is so sweet. She's like America's sweetheart. She's Erica's, Erica's sweetheart. I'll say that. Okay. Um, so those are the things that I am watching right now. And, and then also on Hulu, we did see, I did finish the, um, other black girl. Um, series that was okay again it starred Garcelle um or Garcelle Mouvez Garcelle Garcelle Gabrielle oh shit y'all I forgot to name that damn fast anyway um she was in it I cannot recall if I remember anybody else from that series uh and anything else I'm so sorry uh but I heard that the other black girl and the other black girl was from, like, she was in, like, a black, one of the Black Panther movies. I don't know if it was one or both. Um, but I heard that somewhere out in the ethers. Um, so, I don't know that shit either. Uh, but it was okay. Um, it got a little creepy and it got a little off to me. Like... I don't know. It just didn't quite mesh like I needed it to. It was a little odd. Um, and so, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue to watch. It was okay. It was okay, though. Um, and then, also, I watched, oh, Black Cake. That was a that was a book as well. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? I, not me. Not me. Mm -mm. It was okay. It was a little slow. I did not finish it. Um, and it was okay. You know, I wasn't, I did not feel like I needed to keep watching each episode continuously. Like, for some reason, the episodes cut off like two minutes 
before credits or something like that. I didn't feel like I needed to keep watching. I didn't feel... I didn't feel called to come back to it. I didn't feel like, oh, I'm going to sit here on this couch all day if I sit, if I keep watching this. I didn't have that feeling. Um, I was very much multitasking as I was watching the series. And again, I never got to the, to the final episode of the series. I mean, it just wasn't, it wasn't a decision for me. And also, to be fair, I'm in a comedy kind of mood. I'm not really wanting things to be serious right now. Um, life is lifing. Um, it's a lot of things going on um, with me personally. I don't want nothing serious. I don't want nothing uh, dark, black, comedy-wise, yeah. But, like, sinister, dramatic. I'm not really vibing with it. So... That could just be me. Uh, Y'all let me know how you felt about the other black girl and also black cake. Again, it wasn't... It, it wasn't nothing that I felt like I needed to really tune into or talk about. That's just me. Okay. Now, let's get on to, you know, our favorite. Only, well, my favorite. I hope it's yours too. Only murders in the building. Oh, oh my god. But I tell you. Y'all, they really been doing up the socials. First of all, they are now in syndication. And so they now come on ABC as well. And so people are starting to like come over to our sh our program that we've been completely engaged and engulfed in for the last three, four years. And so now we're going to have all these people coming over trying to figure out what's this, what's that, who is that, who is this, what you thinking? Ah, ah, mm, mm. First of all, uh, yeah, okay, because we need all the viewership. We need more viewers. We need some more subscribers. We need all those things. But also, don't come in trying to ruin our good thing as well. You know, like I'm saying, like, st stay in your place. Stay in your place. You are late to the party. You know, go sit over there. You know, somewhere. You know, like, don't come in trying to make these predictions and more than our good thing. No, no, sir, no, ma'am. Okay? But I am very happy. They did really well. The SAG Awards, the other award shows, they just did a really phenomenal job. They have already announced new cast members, they have already sort of kind of announced. They, they, they're real, they really are doing a season four. I, I think they will be in L.A. come season four. I, that's just my thoughts. I mean, I cannot see the Arconia not being involved. But I also see them splitting half the episodes in L.A. and the other half in New York. Something. Something. I just don't feel like they'll be fully in New York and at the Arconia come season four. Now, already announced are some cast members. Okay? 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 First of all, <clears throat> Eugene Levy is set to play in season four of Only Murders in the Building. Okay? You may know him from Shit's Creek. And or American Pie. He has really thick, what is that, Groucho Marx eyebrows. Burt, a Burt and Ernie kind of eyebrows. Very, very thick. Um, a very attractive older man. He's very cute. Um, he has been announced as joining the cast of Only Murders in Building Season 4. Also, Eva Longoria signed on for Season 4. I like that as well. You may know her from Desperate Housewives. You may also know her from, what was that? Oh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You may know her from that as well. She's a cutie pie. She's like only like five feet, y'all. She's so tiny. Um, she set this to star or to join the cast in season four as well. Um, also, oh, 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 Molly Shannon. I don't. See, a lot of people know her from, I think, SNL or some shit like that. I don't know her from there. I know her from Will and & Grace. And 
girl, when I tell you, she is the she was that crazy neighbor that Grace always did like this with. And she was like, she what did she say? She's a wackadoo. She's crazy. She would always do that when, it, when she described um, Molly Shannon's character. Her name was. Damn it, I can't think of what her name was on Will and Grace. But she's like an upstairs neighbor of theirs. Um, she was really crazy. Uh, <laughs> and I just loved her. And I think recently she was in a commercial for like Geico or Progressive or some shit. And she was playing another character and she was like very, very Long Island, Staten Island type of vibe. And, you know, she was just really exaggerating those vowels. And um, I just, I just, I love Molly Shannon. I am a great follower of her since I've met her on Will and Grace, but I don't know her pretty Will and Grace, and I don't think I've ever went back to like really go through her catalog. And I do apologize because I do enjoy her. I think quite a bit. Um, big announcement though for Only Mary's in the Building. <laughs> Meryl Streep's gonna return! Yes, Meryl Streep as Loretta Durkin will be returning to Only Murders in the Building season four. Why? Because they have unfinished business. Uh, I'm telling y'all, season four will be a continuation of season three. There ain't no motherfucking doubt in my man that that's what's gonna happen. I already know. I feel it's in the ether, y'all. It's in the it's in the ethers, okay? Um, she's set to return. I wonder who else is gonna return. I feel like. I feel like Paul Rudd's character is going to return in a retrospective type of way. Like, this is what we did then. This is what we did then. Oh, did you remember I did this too? And so I feel like he's going to, we're going to look at his life in memorandum. Um, maybe the last two weeks, two months of his life. They may do some childhood things as well. I think Dickie's going to return. I think his ass is going to return. I think also, who else I think is going to return? I think Jesse Williams is going to return. I pretty much think the entire cast from season three will return, with the exception of um, the Ferris Bueller guy and, you know, a few others. But I think just about... I don't know. Let me take that back because we they had a lot of cast last last season, including Ashley Parker. I don't think she's gonna be back, but I think Jesse Williams will be back. I know we know Loretta's gonna be back. I think Dickie's gonna be back. I think Paul Rudd is gonna be back. In retrospective, um, I think that who else was it that I said? I'm like, oh, oh the mom and son. I think one or both of them will be back as well. So, I mean, you know, we excited about that because, you know, that's my favorite. That's like, this is why I do YouTube. This is why this Only Murders in the Building is the reason that I do YouTube. So, I'm super excited for all the things that's coming. Like I said, Hulu has been the epicenter. They have been the savior of this last year year and a half when it comes to content when it comes to um sh to um new series everything they have just been a savior and we thank you hulu because like i said you y'all really y'all really got us together and kept us together and kept people really pushing out and thumping out content as things went i haven't had a lot of content to push out you know um i mean i don't want to blame e plus e not pushing out content on completely on the writer's strike, but a lot of it was. And I'm really hopeful that with um with these things coming out, I'm hopeful things start moving really quickly um soon, you know? Uh when it comes to being able to find the content to put out on here. Um it was but that writer's strike was a big blow to my channel and I failed to pivot in a timely fashion, um, but um, we no longer we're not gonna we're not gonna think about it too much. We're just gonna keep moving forward, right? Because that's what we want to do. We want to move forward and we want to build our channel. We want to build up our subscribers. We want to thank our current subscribers and just keep moving forward. Okay, I love you guys. Last thing, did you all watch? What is it? Where is Wendy Williams? 
Um, sh you know, let me let me say, um, I'm a little bit biased because I come from a probate background. Um, I enjoy talking about probate, estate planning, and all that stuff. I do not feel like it's necessarily broken, but I do feel like there are people who are out there who will take advantage. Whether it's on the court side, the attorney side, or family side. I feel like there are people, there are a lot of people out there who would take advantage, and I feel like most of them are family. Um, that's just me. Again, I am biased because I did come from a part, I do come from a probate court background. And I really enjoy probate and estate planning. Um, that said, um, the people that were able to take care of, of Wendy, as meaning being her, well, they call it in New York, they call it a financial guardian. Um, here in Michigan, we call it, Michigan, we call it a conservator. Um, so, um, but uh, nonetheless, the financial guardian slash conservator, the two people that they had up was Wendy's sister, Wanda, and her son, Kevin. When it comes to Wanda, Wanda, I don't, some people can say that she is some type of attorney or whatever. Regardless, she was up in front of the judge and she went off. Not O-F-F, -F, but A-W-F-F. Off, -F, okay? Like Nicki Minaj. Off, okay? And so she lost. She lost her, that was her bid, and she lost that damn bid because she was acting a fool. She was acting a fool up there in the court. And for what? For what? Do you do you want to have your sister underneath your care in, in custody or not? So, she lost out because she was being crazy. Um, but it was really, it really honestly was just probably passion. But it just came off as crazy. So, she lost out. Her son, Kevin Jr., KJ, oh my God, did you guys hear what he spent in one calendar year? He spent $100,000 on uh, food delivery. What? And he's vegan. What? Sir. Sir. First of all, he was too young because he was still, at that time, in his undergrad years. Um, that was, that for me, that's a big strike. As if I was the judge or the guardian at Lightham, I would, that, that would be a big strike his age. But then, sir, you spent a hundred thousand dollars just on food delivery, not grocery shopping. No, food delivery. Like his, his cousin slash Wendy's nephew was very specific about that. Food delivery, one hundred thousand dollars, not a thousand one hundred thousand dollars in food delivery, sir. Were you feeding the college that you were attending? Uh, where was it? Truffles and you know caviar and escargot. Like, what were you? How? Who were you feeding? Child, listen. Understood. But of course, said no to him. Um, here's the thing, though. They had to have gotten Wendy back to New York because she was in Florida, right? They had to have gotten her back to New York under suspicious circumstances. Either that or she knew she was in, in her right mind when she went to New York. I And honestly, I know they said she has dementia, and I do believe it. I know she, they said she has aphasia, and I do believe it. Um, but then she has moments of clarity. They all do. They all have moments when they're very lucid and clarity is there and they can talk, they can understand. And it's just very... I feel like some moments she played confused and or aloof intentionally, especially when it came to her alcohol usage, um, especially when it came to like a, a relative asking her about her alcohol usage. She didn't really do it with her manager or that Sean lady. I don't like her. Let me take that back. It's not that I don't like her because I I, 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 I can't say I do. However, I don't feel like she's like, she's not right. I don't think she's malicious. I don't think she's she has any ill intentions towards Wendy. 
but I don't feel like she can say no to Wendy. And that's hurtful. That's heartbreaking. Um, I feel like this is her first client. If it isn't, she's had maybe a client that was like 60 years removed from Hollywood. You know, in the retirement hill somewhere. Um, but I feel like she is her first client. I feel like she's the biggest client. I think like she's the most, you know, she can gain the most money from this client. And the most clout from this client. But I don't really believe that Sean is the best person to be there with her. At all. At all. And I'm very hopeful that the docuseries... Um, sheds a light on for everybody. Um, the court, the guardian at Lightum, the guardian, the manager, Sean herself, her family. I'm very hopeful that everybody being able to see what was going on with her over the last year or so. I'm hopeful that they get some kind of clarity and can move forward and how to best take care of Wendy Williams because we love her. I love her dearly and to see this woman who was just everything for black women getting into entertainment, radio, broadcasting, whatever, to see her in the capacity that she's in at this moment is it is hard to see. I do not feel like they took advantage of her or they didn't show the best light of her. Um, I don't feel that way. I feel like being, I feel like it was something that Wendy really would want us to see. Like her true core, um, audience, followers, fans. I feel like this is something she would have wanted us to see and be a part of. And I don't feel like they took advantage of that. Um, and I also feel like, you know, it was, it was hard to watch, but baby, I sat down for all four parts. I had drinks, I had food, I had snacks, chill, I really engaged, okay, and indulged. Um, I do miss Wendy Williams. I do not feel like she would be back at the capacity that we once knew her at, uh, to be in, but I think. I don't know. I wish her well. I wish her well. I wish her peace. I just, I wish the best for her and her loved ones. Um, and that's it. That's all I can say. And I just, that's all I can say. Okay. And we're going to end it there. You guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, reach out to me as you, as you need to, um, all my socials will be down on the, in the description box. All of my contact information will be down in the description box. Again, I look forward to pushing out more content as things progress. I know we are already, what, a quarter way into the year. I promise you guys, it's going to be easier. It's going to be better. Um, especially as daylight savings times come in and I can like really, um, get up, you know, get a later, get in later with putting out video content. Okay. Um, uh, in the meantime, I love you all. Follow me on my socials, which I said will be linked down below and I love you all. Okay. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I love you. Bye.